Hello, this is Code Show. This time, we will practice Kafka. For practice, please clone the dev containers repository of Code Show GitHub. Run VS Code from Kafka folder. Run dev containers. Wait until the container runs. When the container is finished running, we will open Docker Desktop. Three Kafka and Zookeeper AKHQ are running. Describe these containers. A Zookeeper is a distribution system coordinator. Manage multiple Kafka servers in a distributed environment. AKHQ provides a web UI to conveniently manage Kafka. It uses port 8080. Zookeeper periodically sends a heartbeat signal to all Kafka nodes. Zookeeper makes a ping request, Kafka makes a pong response. If some Kafka node fails to respond, Zookeeper considers that Kafka node has failed. If Kafka number 3 fails, Ping and Pong fail. Zookeeper deletes Kafka number 3 from the management node. Then, the remaining Kafka 1 and 2 are notified of node 3 failure, and Kafka 1 and 2 no longer communicate with 3. For reference, when Kafka 3 is recreated, it is registered in Zookeeper as shown in the figure, and Kafka 1, 2, and 3 become clusters again. For reference, there is only one zookeeper in practice, but as shown in the figure, in the production environment, multiple zookeeper nodes are installed. Configure the service to work even if one zookeeper goes down. In class, we will only use one zookeeper because we don't need high availability like production environment. Let's go to the nodes menu provided by AKHQ with a browser. A total of three Kafka nodes are running on the screen. Stop Kafka 2 in Docker Desktop. If you go back to AKHQ's node menu and refresh, you can see that Kafka 2 is gone. Again, press the Start button on Docker Desktop. Wait for Kafka to load then refresh the node screen in AKHQ. Kafka 2 will be looked up on screen again. Among these Kafka nodes, we will stop the control node. If the previous control node failed the health check, you can see that another node becomes the control node. In Kafka, Zookeeper is responsible for coordination between nodes in a distributed environment. Because Zookeeper's admin server setting was set to true in the dev container settings, we can check Zookeeper information on port 8081 through browser. I'll type localhost colon 8081 slash commands in the browser as the address. On the commands page, you can see commands provided by Zookeeper as links. Select the connections link. You can check the information of the Kafka node connected to Zookeeper through the JSON data retrieved by connections. Let's check if this IP is the Kafka node by entering the Docker container. You can see that the Zookeeper connection information matches the IP of the Kafka node. You can check the connection information of three Kafka nodes in the connections array. Now, you can see that a total of three Kafka nodes are periodically ping checking. As explained in the previous figure. When ping or pong fails, Zookeeper transfers information about the failed node to other Kafka nodes. The two remaining Kafka nodes no longer communicate with the failed node. 
and if the Kafka node comes back to life in Zookeeper and Ping and Pong succeed. This information is propagated to the remaining two nodes again, and these Kafka nodes communicate with the new node. Additionally, every Kafka node essentially needs one controller. This controller node is a very important node that manages and controls other Kafka nodes. When using Zookeeper, only one Kafka node can be a controller node. If this one controller node fails, all Kafka clusters cannot operate. So if the controller node fails, one of the other Kafka nodes should be elected as the controller node. At this time, nodes are elected through voting, and Zookeeper is involved in this process. Therefore, Zookeeper plays an important role in Kafka distributed system. For reference, the rest of the nodes except the controller node are called broker nodes. The node that stores partitions, which you will learn about in the next lesson, is in charge of the broker node. The controller node manages the broker nodes and stores various metadata for use by the broker nodes. For reference, Kafka additionally provides a quorum controller starting from version 2.8.0. It manages Kafka metadata directly on Kafka nodes without coordinating Kafka with Zookeeper and without using Zookeeper via craft protocol. Compared to the existing Zookeeper, which has only one controller node, a quorum controller can have multiple controller nodes. That is, if a controller node fails, another controller node can be used immediately. The controller node always synchronizes metadata. The existing cost of copying metadata from Zookeeper is reduced, so controller nodes can be started very quickly. Right now you have two choices, Zookeeper and Quorum. In the future Kafka may deprecate Zookeeper. However, since it is currently in transition, I think it is good to learn Zookeeper and Quorum controller in order. We will practice simply querying Zookeeper using shell commands. Execute the shell of the container where Kafka is installed. Query all Kafka via Zookeeper. It was confirmed that there are a total of 3, 0, 1, and 2 clusters in the array. Let's look at the zeroth Kafka information with the get command. Through the above, we learned how to store and coordinate various information of Kafka in a distributed environment with Zookeeper. Above, we looked at Kafka environment settings and internal operation. Next time, we will learn about topics and partitions. Subscribe and like notification settings are very helpful for content creators. Thank you.